Hey, welcome back to the Happy Place Diaries. It's great to have you back. In this video, we're going to talk about rodents. And I'm not talking about Mickey Mouse here. I'm talking about mice in your RV and what we do to prevent it from happening. So stick around. Uh, let's take a look at mice in your rig. Hey, welcome back. And if uh, you've been wondering where we're at, if you follow us on our community tab, you realize that we had some sound issues with the camera, got it all fixed, and now we're back and putting out some videos again. Okay, so let's talk about mice. Oh, so thank you for sticking with us. We really appreciate it. Let's talk about mice in your rig. When we're talking about mice in the rig, it's just, it's really terrible what mice can do to your rig. So if we don't do anything about mice, they're really gonna hurt your your rig. Uh, mice love to eat wires, and I don't know what attracts them to them. Um, I'm definitely not an electrician. I have stayed in a Holiday Inn once, but not an electrician, but mice love to eat wires. They love to eat paper, and they like to use paper uh, for their nests. Mice spread disease, and that's just nasty, especially when it can be prevented. And mice will ruin your food, and then you're going to have to restock. So, but, but other than that, mice are just plain nasty. So we need to keep mice out of our rigs. So here's some things that we do. And let me tell you, it must be working because we've never had a mouse in our rig. Now, we've known people that have, and it they wreak havoc on, on your rig. So we've never had a mouse, and these are the things that we do to prevent mice from coming in our RV. So first things first is you need to create a barrier for entry for the mice. Mice, uh, they like to hang around tall grass. They come in from the fields, and if you have anything that's contacting the ground, it's gonna it's gonna create an avenue for the mi mice to come up. So your tires, your stabilizer jacks, all of that becomes points of entry. The other thing is your power cord. And ours is right here. Now, if you watched our video on uh, us replacing the power cord, there used to be a hole right here, and they could crawl right up the cord and in. Now we've closed that off. Uh, what we also do is we spray around the tires of our trailer, you know, with, with some of that uh, rodent spray. Uh, and again, we've never had one, but we're also here at the house and we have a service that comes and they spray the perimeter of the house. Uh, my initial concern was if they weren't coming in the house, they were going to want to come in here. But it seems that, that that created a barrier also. So get things off the ground. We don't put our stabilizers down when we're at home and we spray around the tires and we have sealed off that uh, power cord. So create barriers to entry. So what we do know is when we're talking about barriers to entry, you need to make sure that anything that a mouse is going to fit through, and here's those sneaky little devils, if it is the, the width or the height of their nose, they could get in. So don't underestimate any size hole that's in your rig. And so that's also one of the things that I did. I went underneath our trailer and anywhere that there's a hole, I sealed it. Anywhere that there was a hole that a mouse could feel fill through, I put some of that insulator in there and I sealed it off. Again, we've never, never had a mouse. So the next thing that you need to consider is your food. And if you're like us, we leave our pantry stocked. 
Um, but what we have done is we created, again, barriers using the, these trays, slides, uh, bags that seal, and everything is in these tubs, so there's nothing on the wood. So if they're gonna get in, they gotta crawl into here also, but this also reduces uh, the chance of spills and mess like that, which is a good idea because you don't want that smell. Another item we use to keep mice out is the ultrasonic sound thing. You plug it into the wall and you basically forget it. Now let me tell you, we have them all over the house. Uh, don't have mice in there either. And we use this one and they do work. And we, we keep it plugged in. Uh, and when we're plugged into to the shore power of the house, uh, we don't have any problems with, with it turning off. So it's on all the time. So that ultrasonic sound, mice don't like it. Mice also don't, don't like lights, but we don't keep lights on. But we do have a sensor light. So I don't know if, if that's doing anything. But light and sound, mice don't like it. So you know, we travel with pups. And so we make sure that the dog food gets put away. We don't leave any open containers in the trailer. Uh, no open containers of dog food. No open containers of any food. All of our snacks are in sealed bags or containers. But we just remove all the smells from our trailer. And that keeps the mice away. All right, so what if you get a mouse in your trailer? Clean. Clean really well. Use a bleach and water uh, to clean and just scrub everything. You know, when we clean up after each camp out, we make sure that we pull the cover off of the stove top, the cook surface, get all that food out of there, anything that dropped in. We make sure that all of that gets put away uh, because we don't want mice uh, even being attracted to our trailer. We want this to be the most unattractive RV for a mouse possible. But bleach and water, that's really the only way you're going to get that out. Uh, you know, they say don't vacuum up the mouse pellets uh, because that gets uh, becomes airborne. I don't know about that, but um, again, we had a mouse problem in the house for a while. Bleach and water, and that also takes away the scents, and they just don't like it. Well, all right. So the next time you're out cleaning up your trailer, you know, look for the signs that you've got a rodent issue. If you do have a rodent issue, you know, check out some of the things that we talked about. Get your smellables put away. Have everything in sealed containers. Clean, clean, keep everything clean. And uh, remember that I think probably one of the most important things is to create those barriers of entry. You know, get things off the ground. Uh, if you've got tall grass under your trailer, mow it down. And, and that's why underneath our trailer, there is nothing under there. We put gravel under there. Uh, what little vegetation there is, we keep very low and we keep it away from the tires. We spray around the tires. And the last thing that I'll say is if you do have mice, you're going to have to get some mouse traps. And it's up to you whether to decide how humane you want to be with a mouse. Uh, in my opinion, a good mouse is a uh, mouse that's not in my trailer. Uh, so check out the traps. There's different kinds out there. Uh, more Some that are more humane than others. Uh, but either way, you want to get rid of the mice uh, because they will uh, wreak havoc on your trailer, your fifth wheel, your Class A, whatever. All right, take care of your rodent problem. Hey, thanks for coming along. We appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, can't say it enough. Thanks for being patient with us, and we'll see you all uh, in the next video. Oh.